Well, good morning, you too. Hey, let's go to uh, Coke, Alaska. It's a big Saturday here. It's October 4th on my video right now. We're in Toke, Alaska, and look at that planet. How are you guys doing, huh? Just wondering how you've been doing. Everybody's been wondering how I'm doing. I'm okay. I just took some days off trying to fix my computer. So here we go. We're in Toke, Alaska. We're looking at this uh, striped-looking planet. And on the right there, you see that blue orb coming down. Um, so here, check it out. I'll put a little filter in the middle of it. So, uh, Father, I ask you right now in Jesus' name to uh, penetrate my sight and bring peace and joy. Bring a light heart to everybody in Jesus' name right now, Father, I ask. And I thank you for it. Amen. So, you guys doing okay? Check out this wild-looking planet. I put a little filter on the middle of it, not the whole picture. And I'm getting such good shots right there. On the right there, I believe that's uh, Nibiru coming through. You see how it does this little bowl shape, punch cloud. But anyways, um, how's everybody doing this Saturday? This is October 4th and 5th material, and I'm going to go backwards. i got to get caught up on some of the 29th, the 30th, the 1st, you know. And Yeah, I've been just uh, really fighting my computer, guys. And so keep me in prayer on my computer, because I do definitely need a new one. We're in uh, Kust, Alaska. Kust? Anyways, there's the uh, Istum, the red planet behind the sun. I don't know. You guys tell me if you think it's a part of the sun simulator or not. I don't know, you know. And right there's a clock, and I'm telling you that we're against the clock right now. Something's going to happen big. Um, you know, people say, well, when do you think it's going to happen? I don't put a date on it. But uh, according to Bible prophecy, we're looking at this thing happening within the next two years easy. And I think it's locked into the sun. I think it's locked into our planet, the orbit. Here we are in Angon, and I've showed you this stuff from different dates, but, you know, I just want to show you it's still here, and it's getting bigger, and it's moving around. This one, there's like two or three orbs. You can make them out. If you can, you can. I try to highlight them, but you see, like, right there, right underneath the sun, about midway, you'll see two planets. It rolls off two planets right there. Now we're going to go to Cedar Point, an amusement park, and I found all these orbs in the sky, guys. And remember, thumbs up. When you do thumbs up, what happens is the uh, Google... Uh, indexing sees that you really like my video and the interactive and it actually gives me a higher score and it pushes my video out to more people um, so it just helps me a lot guys I mean it's just a little click on the button and I appreciate you guys have pushed me up to 300 likes on a lot of videos which is amazing one I got over a thousand likes but check this song out I'll be back So I play this song, guys, because it really makes me feel good. So I'm hoping it makes a few of you feel good. It's kind of a song of hope. You know, it's not a Christian song, but it's a, it's really a song of hope. So here we go. We're in Edna Bay, and we got a round red planet orb looking thing. Now, on these red planet orbs, these could possibly be the binary moons of the Nibiru system, of Nibiru itself. And the moons, they do like a binary, uh, like an orbit around each other. One of them slings around, so... When we see these orbs, I think we're seeing these moons like sling around. They move around in the sky quite a bit. And, you know, who knows how long, 10, 20 minutes, they could be in a different position. And then we see some of them like this one right here is moving. People say it's an orb or a lens flare, but it's not. Now, hey, let me tell you about what I'm going to do, guys. Getting ready to take you on a little adventure on buoy cam. Nibiru hunting on buoy cam. And we're going to be in the Great Lakes <clears throat> in different locations, and I'm going to show you the weather. Um, you're going to actually see the weather, not a weather report, like this is a weather report, but here we go. We're going to be on a boat, and you guys are going to be with me, and we're going to be on the Great Lakes looking at the sunset, sunrise. I'm just going to test it out. If it does good, I'll keep doing them. I got footage right now from July until present on different locations. Um, these cams are high quality. You know, they're on uh, 
you know, they're strapped on buoys and they, they actually rotate at different times of the day to the sunrise and sunset. And I kind of had to recover some of this because, you know, they've, uh, they snatched it and then they, all of a sudden they put it back. So I was going to do it a while back, but now I've got a lot of footage of this and I'm going to start putting out these buoy cam and I want you guys to join me, right? So we'll see how it goes. You got to take your Dramamine before you get on the boat. <laughs> But we're going to be on a buoy. We're going to be strapped on a buoy, guys. Here we go. And it's going to be seasick time. The reason I'm finding new locations, because I keep getting cameras not available. I keep getting this over and over. They're shutting down the cams, guys. And I'm just reporting that. They're shutting them down. So grab all the pictures you can. Um, it's getting too seeable. Here's some crazy clouds. Um, and, you know, I try to throw a little bit of everything in my videos, guys, just to make everybody happy. But also, I want to show you the huge picture. The bigger picture, you know, I want you to really see what's going on. It's one thing to see these orbs one after another. It's pretty cool. But I think it's nice to see the whole system right in. And then you see a couple orbs and you see how the whole system operates. And, you know, a lot of these clouds that we're seeing, they're chemtrail clouds coming from all over. But a lot of the clouds we're seeing, too, around the planets are their own um, cloud system that they're interacting with us. I like this moon I caught. Um, I don't think it's a lens flare. I checked it out a number of times. It's eclipsing. And I just think it's unique. Um, I think it's real. I think it's actually one of Atu's, or not Atu's, but I think it's one of the Nibiru's moons. That got kind of like stuck right there. See, it's just a smaller moon, maybe a, a Nana. Okay, anyway, I'm just, you know. And right over here to the left of it could be Amaryl, and they're together right there. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying. I'm giving it some kind of narrative. This is all my opinion. I see what you see, and I know about as much as you know. I'm not up there flying around in space. But anyways, you guys have been a blessing. I hope you watched the all-subscriber video I put up yesterday. I had a lot of prophetic um, symbolism, and I had a lot of um, hope in it for a lot of you. Um, just crazy stuff. Crazy times we live in, folks. Crazy times. I pray for you guys often. And, um, you know, if there's any fear on you, I want to break it off in Jesus' name right now. I break it off in Jesus' name. Fear, despair, and depression go in Jesus' name. You know, I try to put music on here that lifts your souls up a little bit and your spirits and just kind of helps you get in that positive vibration. A lot of people call it, I call it the presence of God. And so here we are in uh, Nuttock, Alaska. We've got some crazy clouds, but we also have some crazy planets in this whole clip. We're in Nuttock, October 1st. Here we have this red planet. Now this line going through the skies, guys, I think it's a laser. Testing a laser. You know, we've seen that line go down on the black spot to the ground, but we haven't seen it go sideways like that. And then you got the little, you know, moon that's there or orb so here we go guys um, it's everywhere these planets are everywhere I got probably 30 videos I could put up and my computer could handle it what happens like on the last video I put up I, I tried for three days four times to upload it they kicked me back with copyrights on twice twice on it and every time they kicked me back on copyrights it took me like two and a half hours to get my computer to work and redo it so it took me literally three days to put that last video up, but it was worth it. It was worth the hassle. Um, I think it came out excellent. You know, the drama on the CGI intro is on purpose. And, uh, you know, this is the way I operate, guys. This is the way I operate, you know. I'm here to tell you about Jesus. I'm here to show you the planets. I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you and you need to call on his name. And, uh, you know, when you start seeing, someone asked me, how can I be so calm? And I said, well, I got Jesus, and I know I've been healed of Parkinson's disease, hepatitis C, a double broken back, blood pressure that was sky high, and bleeding ulcers in 33 years. So, And then never mind all the money miracles I've had. But Jesus is very real to me. He's very alive. And so this is the God I choose to serve is Jesus. I'm presenting to you Jesus before this last day event happens. And it's going to happen, folks, because you know how I'm so sure and absolute? Because the Word of God is absolute. You know, I had the vision, and God showed me, so here, I'm doing my job. The only thing I can say to you guys out there, those who don't know the Lord, is a call on them. Those who know the Lord and haven't been walking with them, just repent to the Father, change your mind about your Father in Heaven, and just start walking with them. Start reading your Bible and praying. 
Well, here we go. Here's Cedar Point again. That one that was over the roller coaster that was kind of dark. There it is right there. So it's a confirmation that what we've seen in Cedar Point earlier was there, guys. Look at that from a higher point. And this has been my problem. I get technical difficulties all the time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm having a problem here. All right, I'm back. Well, anyways, saying all that, you guys know I'm having problems. I don't need to go over and over. If you want to donate towards my new computer, just go down to the PayPal button in the description, and you guys can help me out. Anything is a help. I got about $200 with six months saved from uh, donations. So it's not too bad for not on this thing to make money, really. Uh, I'm on here to show you the skies in the end time. So, hey, I'm going to stop narrating. It's giving me a hard time again. And I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe and uh, thumbs up. And share the video with somebody in your family today. God bless you. And we'll talk to you in a little bit on the next video. Bye-bye.